Now the important question is can the competitive firm earn profits? Can in can it incur losses or can there be a position where the firm is breaking even that is it is not earning any profits nor is it incurring any losses let's see the firm will earn super normal profits when the average revenue will be more than the average total cost at equilibrium we know that the equilibrium is at the point where mc is equal to mr so at that point if average revenue is more than average total cost you can say that the firm will be earning super normal profits again if at equilibrium if average revenue is equal to the average total cost now when the average revenue is equal to the average total cost at the point of equilibrium you can say that the firm would be breaking even how is it possible that it is earning normal profit there it should ideally be breaking even there it should be a point of break even because your costs are equal to your revenue your average cost is equal to your average revenue how would you earn profits there because the economic cost that is the average total cost includes the opportunity cost of the entrepreneur that is it includes the salary or wages that he would have gotten if he would have worked somewhere else and not in his own firm the interest that he would have gotten if he would if he would have applied his money somewhere else if he would have applied his capital or invested his capital into some other company or in an fd or in some bank it also includes the profit for the risk that he has taken it also includes the rent for the land that he has taken on hire for his firm or for his own firm if he is use his own land then what is the rent that he would have gotten if he would have given his land for rent so all these revenues are included in the total cost so your economic cost include both the explicit cost as well as the implicit cost this we have already covered in the third chapter so implicit cost are the cost that the promoter or the seller incurs but they are intangible they are the opportunity cost if the promoter would have worked somewhere else he would have definitely got some salary if the promoter would have invested his capital somewhere else he would have definitely got some interest if the promoter would have given his land for rent somewhere else to somebody else he would have definitely got some rent so now that he is doing his own business he will not get the wages that he would have gotten he will not get the interest on his capital he will not get the rent for the land he is using he will not get the all these benefits but all these costs are called as explicit costs and your economic costs include these costs so when the ar is equal to atc that means he is getting the salaries he is getting the rent he is getting the profit he is getting the wages he is also getting the interest so thus we can say that he is earning normal profit but for economics this position would be a position of 
break even in economics we'll call it break even because here the economic revenue is equal to the economic cost and the final case where ar is less than atc again at equilibrium at the point of equilibrium if average revenue is less than average total cost it is very much understandable that you will incur losses your average revenue is less than the average cost so you are bound to incur the losses now let's consider each of these cases individually 